Have you ever wondered why there are white and red fire alarms in pull stations? When it comes to pull stations, many may just think that the colors are just for style. However, there's actually a very good reason. Let's turn to good old NFPA 72 to figure this all out. Chapter 17.14, code 17.14.8. Point three. Unless installed in an environment that precludes, that means to prevent from happening, the use of red paint or plastic, manual fire alarm boxes shall be in red color. This also goes along with the code, chapter 17.14, code 17.14.8.2, aka the code right above it. The code states that manual fire alarm boxes shall be installed so that they are conspicuous, that means standing out as to be clearly visible, unobstructed, and accessible. So to sum things up, when a pull station is mounted on a surface that is red, the pull station needs to be conspicuous. Therefore, the station should be a different color than traditional red, so then this is the case where we install white pull stations. This makes the pull station stand out more so when there's a fire emergency, the station can be easier to find. Now what about the actual alarms? Does the red body or the white body matter? The answer is no. In a fire emergency, the strobe on the unit, if it has one, will make the unit completely visible. Therefore, it actually does not matter if the alarm is red or white in a building. The alarms with white bodies are actually more commonly used now because they are camouflaged on the standard white wall. Alright everybody, I hope you learned something. That is the video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.